Who can that be? <laughs> Bella, what are you oh. doing? It's so cold. It's so cold. Where's your jacket? I left it at home. Come, come, come inside. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Come in, come in. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's so cold out here. there. It's here, so take this. Oh, what? Thank you. Wow, this looks like it will fit perfectly. Yeah. So, what's going on with Kakei lately? Oh, I'm glad you should ask. Welcome to Top, Top It News. News. I'm Bella. And I'm Angel. And it's getting very cold because yeah. it's winter now. So, yeah, so make cold sure out you there. bring some jumpers. Yes. Have some layers. Wear some yes. layers tonight. And you can watch our news while having a warm cup of any drink you like. Mm. So let's snuggle up while we deliver this week's Top Top it News. News. The first news is on the 26th of May, Rosario Bersama Penutupan Bulan Maria. On Sunday, May 26th, people attended St. Pascal Box Hill earlier than normal time the Mass started at 10am because they had a rosary prayer before Mass started at 11am. This rosary is held right before the procession of the statue of the Virgin Mary being carried on a palanquin, as well as a form of closing the month of Mary. The statue of the Virgin Mary was lifted by four people from the front door of the church to the front of the altar. Hari Raya uh, Tritunga Mahakudus. After praying the rosary together and carrying out the procession of the statue of the Virgin Mary to the front of the altar, all the people who were present on Sunday, 26th of May, celebrated the feast of the Holy Trinity together with liturgy and choir from Saint Benedictus. <laughs> The third news is on the 26th of May, Sunday School D is at Pascal, Box Hill. Still on the same Sunday, May 26, 2024, during the Mass, Sunday School for children under 9 years old also takes place. Pastor Trinold, as the chaplain of Kaka E. Melbourne, blessed the children before the Sunday School leader took the children to a separate room. There are at least 21 children who took part in the teaching delivered at the Sunday School. Oh, it makes me miss Sunday School. Time for the fourth news, Pemilian Ketua Kakei Melbourne. Still on the same day after the Mass was finished, the election of Officer of Kakei Melbourne opened a member meeting with a schedule for the election of Kakei Melbourne leader for the years 2024 to 2025. People who were present at that time had and will receive white and pink ballot papers. There were three names on each paper held by everyone and they were asked to leave a hole in the box for each name of the candidate they hoped would become the next leader of Kakei Melbourne. The final results on that day's voting obtained the name Christian Panjaitan. This means that Christian Panjaitan will serve the second time as leader of Kakei Melbourne 2024-2027 as per 1st July 2024. <laughs> Semakin bisa melayani umat kerja Indonesia di kesempatan Melbourne dan juga kesempatan dan kesempatan saya. Last Sunday, after the Kaka E Melbourne Mass at St Martin de Porres, Faithline members gathered together in a teaching presentation by Deacon Malcolm Locke. He's a deacon that has merit with grandchildren, and this meeting had the theme Assumption of the Virgin Mary, and was attended by 21 children aged around 7 to 14 years old. The meeting began by watching a film about a Eucharistic miracle and an event presented by Faithline members, starting from the host, song leader, and singer and prayer leader. I've been married 46 years. 
On Tuesday, 4th of June, the Family Commission of Kakagi Melbourne held a personality development seminar with the theme Self Esteem. The seminar aims to improve relations between human beings by understanding the characteristics of people who are easily needy, selfish, easily angry, and unhappy in their lives. The seminar took place online via Zoom and hosted by Aunt Lillian. It was attended by around 19 participants and lasted around two hours. Kalau self esteem dia rendah, kalau dia berteman dengan temannya tuh langsung pulang, langsung tepet tersinggung, langsung akhirnya dia nggak bisa berteman dengan baik kan. Last Sunday, June 9th at St Joseph Port Melbourne, we had a guest from afar, namely the former pastor of Kaka I Melbourne from 2009 to 2012. Pastor Paulus Waris Santoso was the pastor at Kaka I. Um, Father Waris came to visit and meet and greet the Melbourne Kaka'i congregation as well as to get to know those who joined after he left Melbourne. Celebrating the Eucharist together with Father Trinold, he made last Sunday's Eucharist celebration full of meaning and nostalgia. Time for Pungoman! On June 29th, Pastoral Care Kaka'i Melbourne will hold a gathering by singing memorable songs at Mount People who want to take part. Don't forget to register! Kaka E Melbourne will hold a marriage preparation course for people or couples who want to have a Catholic wedding. This course will take place in a hybrid manner, namely online Zoom on the first day and in person on the second day after Mass at St. Joseph Port Melbourne. Thank you for watching Topic News! This is the second last Topic News, so be sure to stay tuned for the next one. And this is this will be our last one. Yeah. So thank you for watching us for all these years. And um, we hope you uh, stay warm during winter. Mm -hmm. Stay safe. Uh, lots of warm drinks. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Cheers.